take a look at this. And Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Dahmer and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say... Hello Lincoln, welcome to Movie Monday. It is so great to see you again. We are your anchors, Casey and Lindy. Coming up for you today, we will take a look at... The new DC list is out. Are you on it? Snapchat is caught for info. Are you ready for the thunder? Yearbook information. You don't want to be left out. A way that you can take part in a war. And much more. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him As they shot it out with glee Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in history Sleep watching our show? If so, please contact us at ptv2 at plummetk12 or in.us or tweet us at LJH Digital Storm. You should have received order forms for this year's yearbook. You can pre order until November 21st. If you want a copy, you must pre order your copy now because there will be no extra orders. Are you ready for the penny war at Lincoln? Watch this video and you can start bringing in your pennies. some help? Hold on, Santa. We'll get you help right away. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Santa's stuck on the junior high and he can't get down. Listen, young man. It's a very serious offense to prank call nine one one. This is not a prank call. Santa's really stuck on the roof and he can't get down. We're on our way. They said they'll be here right away. Just following up on some naughty and nice lists and looking in on a couple kids. 
and here came someone along and spooked the reindeer, and off they went. We don't know what we would have done if you guys hadn't come along with it. We're glad we can help. I just wish there was more we could do. Actually, there is. Really? What? Name it and we're in. There are a lot of kids you see that have fallen on hard times, and you just can't help them up. Okay, so what can we do? Support the shop with a cop program at your school. Stop with a cop. I've heard of that. Yeah, my neighbor's dad went out of work last year, and they helped their family. Jack and Cops of thousands of kids right here in Marshall County have a Christmas experience they otherwise would not be able to have. But we got a bunker right here in our school. I'll make sure to donate. We were just glad we were able to help. And I'm glad you came along when you did. Oh, and by the way, you've been very good this year. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Starting today at Lincoln Junior High, we will be having a penny war to raise money to help with Shop with a Cop. During this war, pennies will count against your total. Put pennies in your opponent's container and put silver, do silver coins and dollar bills in your own. It will help you earn more money to win. Did you register for the DC trip yet? The new list is out and there are about 40 students on it. As the reservations continue to pour in, if your name's not on the list and you want to visit our nation's capital, get your reservations in soon. If you have any questions, ask your 8th grade social studies teacher. If you have more questions, go to classictours.org. Students who sold five items or more in all, the, in the, all school fundraiser may attend the Snapchatters concert on Tuesday, November 25th during max time period. These students may attend the concert free. There is a $10 admission, admissions charge for anyone else who would like to attend. Don't miss the Lincoln's second Snapchatters concert featuring, featuring three of the world's most renowned guitarists, Mr. Singleton, Mr. Heron, and Mr. Winrow. Excited? Take a look at this. Nothing's time to do it right. Sleeping in my bed, I've been sleeping in my bed. So show me family and all the blood that I will bleed. don't want to miss that awesome concert. I bet they will bring the lightning and thunder. Go Chiga. Go Chiga. Now it's time for our corner guy Blick for the most amazing red storm sports and lunch. Thanks guys. Before I start, I'll look up our sponsor Coca-Cola, where we have a drink for everyone. Just a quick reminder, if you would like season tickets for the PHS basketball season and have not turned in your form, please do so as soon as possible. The athletics department is working on seating arrangements. Color Guard will have two days of auditions from 6 to 9 starting tonight, November 17th and Wednesday, November 19th. These auditions are for all boys and girls in 7th and 8th grade. Please meet in the band hall if you're interested. Plan to dress in workout clothes. For more information, please email Nicole Keller. For lunch tomorrow, our fabulous lunch ladies are making creamy chicken alfredo, broccoli and cheese, garlic breadsticks, and the most amazing milk. Taking a look outside the weather window, today's high is 32 degrees and a low of 21 degrees. There is a 5% chance of rain. This weather forecast is brought to you by our, our resident meteorologist, Jack. Another big thanks to our sponsor, Coca-Cola, where they make the taste buds dance. Oh, and by the way, that email was for Nicole Horner. Well, here at Lincoln today, we have no birthdays, but we had two over the weekend. Kelsky Kowalski and Alexis Ramirez. So have I so we hope your birth you had a good birthday. For Movie Monday we will be telling you about the movie Interstellar. Interstellar is a rated PG thirteen movie. What time with time on Earth coming to an end, explorers undertake the most important mission of the human history. 
They will be traveling beyond the galaxy to discover whether humankind has a future among the stars. In a related story, a probe named Rosetta made a space program in England landed on a moving comet 317, 317 miles away from Earth Thursday afternoon. The problem has been the probe has been traveling for 10 years to reach the comet, and if it functions correctly, it could bring back extremely valuable information about our solar system and how it came to be. This probe and the entire mission has had a price tag of about $1 billion. Let's take a look. On November 12th at 7.35 Pacific Time, a lander will land on a comet. This is one of the hardest things that has ever been done by the human species. So NASA's role in the mission is um, sort of as the junior partner? The spacecraft was built by the European Space Agency. NASA contributed three instruments. Along with backup support with what we call the telemetry, how you're going to track it, navigation. American instruments will operate on board of the mothership. And the mothership is really the main part of the mission. It will follow the comet all the way around the sun. We'll learn amazing amount of information about the comet. Comets are like little refrigerators floating out there, far away, and they're far away from the sun, and frozen all these tiny particles were frozen inside. Remnants from the forming solar system. Most of the scientists agree that the water, or at least most of the water on Earth, came from comets. So you showered in a comet this morning. It's extremely difficult to land on a comet. This is an absolute first for uh, humanity. The comet is moving about 35,000 miles an hour. Unbelievably difficult terrain. There are about 58 boulders on the site where it lands. There are jets shooting out of a comet. Very difficult situation. We kind of describe the situation as the lander being a cherry on the top of the cake. We've been waiting for this for more than 10 years. I mean 20 years. And it's hard to really even think that it's really going to happen. I sure can't wait to see what kind of information it's from this mission. Me neither. It really is amazing. So let's see what we have learned today. One, today kicks off the penny war. Bring in your coins to help your team and sabotage other teams. Those who have wanted to go on the DC trip need to turn in their reservations before it's too late. Three, the amazing Snapchatters will be having their concert on Tuesday, November 25th. That wraps up our Movie Monday, but before we let you go, we would like to thank our sponsor, Coca-Cola, for the sizzling sound that makes our heart beat faster.